What's going on? You know who this is, Zaltone. Today, coming to you with a Guggen style review, as always, of this Niobe uh, Leisure GA1000 baitcasting reel. So, this particular reel I have been using for about two months. I got it a while ago. Um, I was going to do uh, an unboxing, which I may end up showing the unboxing anyway. Um, but things have been so crazy, you know, with everything <laughs> that I didn't get around to it. But I did want to give you my impressions of this particular reel and, and its performance and all of that. So um, I've absolutely, absolutely enjoyed this reel. It's got uh, 10, uh, it's a 10 bearing reel. It's extremely, extremely smooth. Now, if you go and, and I will put a link in the description so you can go and check it out. Um, if you go to the link and you look at some of the reviews or, or you look at the description, some of the things that they say about it, of course, is supposed to be you can use it for freshwater fishing as, uh, uh, and salt water and all of that. And there's a couple of uh, comments there that in salt water, you know, everything rusts out when they went to uh, actually take it apart and clean it and that kind of stuff. So it may or may not be the best uh, bait casting reel if you're trying to do uh, saltwater fishing. But um, this thing is ridiculously smooth to the point where I've gotten very, very good with using bait casting reels. Um, if you do not feather, if you don't, if you not feather, while, uh, feather it while you're casting. Uh, you will get a backlash. So of course this year I have been using my Black Max and my um, uh, Bass Pro Shop reel um, and, and you know I've, I don't have problems with backlashes on either one of them. My Black Max I can pretty much cast it. I don't have to worry about feathering it as it's going out and I don't get backlashes. I just don't. And maybe it's the way I've got the brakes and everything set up but um, with this one it doesn't even matter how you set the brakes up you have to be careful with it if you do not feather it as you're um with your thumb as you're casting out you will get a backlash now i've got 30 pound braid on this on this reel right now and i'm using like a 12 pound um fluorocarbon leader with a uh fg knot love fg knots absolutely love them you need to learn how to do that anyway um but the reel itself like i said Excellent reel, but what I did start having a problem with is as I was uh, retrieving, um, it would start to catch in one spot or another, so I'd have all of my line building up in one spot on the reel. So at some point, it would start to rub, and it got difficult to reel in. So what I what I did realize, and I'll be uh, continuing to use this reel if I still have, continue to have those types of problems with it, then most likely I'm going to replace it. But I went ahead, there's a little nut there. I'm not sure how well you can see it. I went ahead and tightened that down today. So I will be taking this back out and trying to do some fishing with it today and see if that actually fix, fixes that issue. So it would just get stuck, like I said. As it's going, you know, as you're reeling in, it, it goes back and forth in order to uh, evenly uh, distribute the line back onto the reel, onto the, onto the thimble here. So. I um, it, it it would get stuck either it, it would either get stuck on one side or the other or it would get stuck somewhere in the middle and I'd have a big clump of line in one spot so like I said after tightening that up hopefully that takes care of the issue if it does I'm telling you this is a fantastic reel the price was great I can't tell you the price right now but I will uh, uh, put the price here somewhere that I actually paid for it um, but again, the link will be in the description. You can go check it out for yourself. So as always, fantastic, like I said, another fantastic, uh, fantastic product. The, the very first Niobe reel I've ever, I've ever bought. Um, and so I have to say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the product at this point. But like, like I said, we'll see if that one issue is fixed just with tightening, tightening that little nut up there. And uh, if it is, this is, is a fantastic reel. And I'll try to make sure that I put some comment in the description as well, letting you know if that did seem to fix the issue or not. So with that, I hope you get out, get some fishing in, 
enjoy enjoy the rest of your day um and I'll, as i always say you need to you really really need to get out get some fishing done enjoy the outdoors if you don't even if you don't catch anything it's still relaxing and honestly i'm gonna tell you i haven't been catching a whole lot here lately fish are kind of deep and i'm bank fishing so haven't caught a lot lately but again just to be out there hearing the waves and, and and all of that in the outdoors is absolutely relaxing it's fantastic and so make sure you get out and do that um, as you have time winter's coming soon so hope you enjoyed the video hope this helps you out in some way if you like if you if, if you decide you want to try it out make sure and if you have one drop a comment in the description below and let me know and let our viewers know exactly what your thoughts are on this particular room so all right with that i will talk to you again very soon peace